It took me a couple of freezing winters to figure this out, but I am going to help you with my top three coats to survive a Midwest winter. When I moved to Chicago from Puerto Rico, I thought I was gonna spend my winters looking like this. A beautiful coat, adorable little boots. Instead, I find myself living for six months, an average of a six months, in a variation of this look, Nanook from the North, hood included. you're never gonna wear something pretty like this. I just bought this. But in reality, in the Midwest, you're gonna wear something this pretty October, November. Think about it. Sometimes in Halloween, we get a snowstorm. Welcome to the world of the puffy jacket. This is the first one I wanted to show you. This is a puffy jacket that I'll wear if October gets really bad or during spring. I love it, it's from Patagonia. It keeps me really nice and warm. The only issue with this, it doesn't cover my tushy. And when it gets colder here, you gotta cover the tushy. This next coat is the next level up. It's the same weight as the one I showed you. It's from North Face. What I love about it is what I just told you a little earlier. It it's longer, so it covers the derriere. When do I wear this? When it's down to the 30s. So the range of 40 to 30, I'll wear this. And here's the other secret. It's so nice and warm that you don't have to layer up inside, which is the other important thing you have to do in a Midwest winter. Layer up or layer down. Now this one is the granddaddy of them all. This is the one you buy when it's going to be below 30 and below zero. This is from North Face as well. And when you shop for these, usually the coat will tell you what range of weather it'll take you through, it'll protect you from. Now this one is really good too because it has Gore-Tex on it. And if it rains or snows, because at that point you're probably gonna be in a blizzard, it protects you from the rain. It's a repellent, so you're not getting soaking wet and even more cold. Important, this one has a hood. You're gonna think, Anna, you'll never wear that. Oh, no, 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 no. Because if you don't wanna wear a hat, this will help you. And sometimes, this is, you know, it's important that you do this too. That you have a way to hide inside your coat. It's very, very, very important. In conclusion, it also depends how, like we say in Spanish, friolento you are. How cold do you get? When I started living here, I would be freezing cold, but I was also in my 20s and 30s. Now in my mid 40s, I'm running a little warmer, if you know what I mean. But the secret is that you buy these, this is also important, in a size larger than you need, because you're going to have to put layers under this to survive the polar vortex. So go ahead, buy the beautiful camel coat, and wear it when you can in the Midwest, but embrace the puffy coat and know that it will embrace you and keep you warm. If you have any other questions, if you're moving to the Midwest area from some warm regions, if you wanna know what coat you should buy, what boots you should buy, because you definitely need some good, good snow boots, go ahead, leave a comment right there and subscribe. Let's keep it real. I know, in his sleeveless shirt. Huh.